Hey everyone, these are the latest updates of Udio and they really have pulled the rabbit out of the hat. So the improvements and features that they have just announced are huge and I literally just updated you guys less than a week ago in terms of the latest updates of Udio and I just can't believe that they've already released you to be able to upload your own music and then it'll generate new music based off what you've uploaded. That is just mind blowing. And I thought we'd be months away from that and they've literally just announced it. So on their Discord, it says, we're delighted to announce a set of improvements and new features, including updated mobile interfaces, WAV downloads. Again, that's huge because previously it was just MP3, which is a lower quality. WAV downloads is like the standard of decent formats for musicians. Better usability on desktop. Improved tag and song search, including tag autocomplete. And for those on standard and pro plans, which are paid subscribers, the ability to upload far, for far greater control over your UDO songs. So that is massive. Now, obviously you have to be a paid subscriber, which I am on Udio, so I'll be able to show you that feature if you're interested in subscribing. It says, with this audio upload feature, you can use all of your extension features with our Udio 32 model. Now that's their base model of doing 30 seconds generating at a time. So it's not like the, the last video that I showed you where it's generating two minutes at a time. Because you're uploading music, they've based it on the previous 32 second model where you can still extend forwards and backwards to create a song up to 15 minutes long. So if you're a music producer, think about all of the demos that you've got. Think about all of the um, song, standard radio edits that you've got and you wanted to do extended mix or a different take on that particular song. Then yeah, and I'm going to show you some examples in this video. So make sure you subscribe if you're interested in AI music. So it says, and with your audio guiding tempo and mood, this brings your music exploration to a new level, complementing your favorite workflows and enabling creativity in new ways. They've, they've certainly made it easy to use from my point of view. Maybe you've got a great intro, but don't know where to go next, or a full mix that's missing the perfect bridge. In both cases, Udio or Udio can provide inspiration. We believe Udio can be a transformative tool for music creation and have much more planned that we can't wait to show you. Something that I have really noticed is the amount of time that a musician can save actually getting these generations based on their music. It is incredible because you can literally be multitasking, doing other stuff while you're generating and pressing the button and listening to it. Um, from my point of view, I'd love automation on Udio. I'd really like to be able to utilize my full credits of what I'm paying for. However, in reality, I don't think there's currently a way to do that, which is a shame. But when that comes, I think that's going to be huge. It does say that you must assert full usage and distribution rights over any audio you upload. Whether people are going to adhere to that, I very much question because there's not really copyrightable um, regulation on this site at the moment. So it is something to bear in mind. And this is a minefield in the future in terms of uh, law and all the rest of it. Also, tracks generated with uploaded audio can't yet, it says yet, be published on Udio. So I understand that because they're worried about um, exploitation of previous release music suddenly getting featured and getting very popular, which the chances of that happening, I think, are very high. So that's why UGO is trying to restrict that from their point of view. So those are the main updates. So what I'll do now is I'll feature some of the music generations that I've done, and it is just absolutely mind-blowing. Okay, so here is UGO, and it, we're in beta. And when you log in, you can subscribe. And once you have subscribed, you'll see that you've now got this upload feature. So exciting. So you literally click on it and then you can upload a track. So let me just do that now. So it says by uploading this file, you attest that you have the right to use and distribute this file. So I say I understand and confirm and then go confirm. And then what it's going to start to do, it's going to upload that track. 
you can see that's the track here and then you can actually give it a text prompt in terms of what you want it to generate. Now, exactly the same as before, you're able to add an intro section before, a section after, or an outro. I really am struggling with outros, to be perfectly honest. They don't seem to be working for me. Um, you can customize your own lyrics, which is really cool, instrumental, auto-generate, and then you do have advanced features as well. But you can see that you don't have the option for the new model of two-minute generations with one click. You're able to crop and extend. You also have manual mode as well. You've got suggested genres near the bottom of the screen, of the window rather. And then you've got the advanced features. So the same as what I announced on the last video, you can change the prompt strength of how strong you want that prompt to actually be versus the music upload. You've got the lyric strength. If you don't want any lyrics at all, then you can set that to low if you want to. You've got clip start generation quality so i normally leave it on high or go to ultra if i really want the best quality and context length so we've got 130 seconds here but you can make it shorter and it tells you the credits remaining which is really cool as well so if i go back up i'll just call it the genre of the song which is synth pop and then i click on extend and it will say creating your tracks as it normally does and then when you go into my creations, you'll start to see that it's gonna start generating based off that song. Now you could do a snippet of a song, you could just do vocals, you could do the full song if you wanted, sections of it, it's really entirely up to you. And UDO does seem to handle all of those different scenarios, which is just absolutely incredible. I just can't believe it. I, I just, honestly, I thought this was gonna be a, a long time until it's released. And we're waiting for Suno to do exactly the same in terms of their upload feature. So we're waiting on that. While we're waiting for that generation, um, for an existing generation that I've done, um, you can select it. And if you go into it, you've then got the download button here. And if you click on that, you can then download that as a WAV file, which again is just brilliant, you know. I don't know the difference between the quality between MP3 and WAV, um, but WAV as it stands is always the best quality compared to MP3. So I just think that's amazing that that feature is already now available. So what I am interested in, however, is whether that exists for old tracks. So let me have a quick look at that. So if I scroll down, I've done a ton of generations as you can imagine because I love UDO. It's such an amazing tool for musicians and everybody else that's interested in making music. I think it's uh, it's incredible, absolutely incredible. I'm just going back as far as I can. Well, maybe not as far as I should really. Let's try this one. This was two months ago. So let's just see. Yes, you can. So all of your old previous generations, you can now go back into them if you've saved them, perhaps you've liked them, or you've put them in a playlist, and then you can literally go download WAV or WAV file, which is brilliant. Now, if we have a look at my creations, it's already put in the titles, the genres. I haven't chosen to customize lyrics at this stage, but you've got one, you've got the images here as well. So it's just taking uh, a little while to, to do that. Great, so that's now done. So what it'll do is it'll play the beginning of, of well, the whole track if you've uploaded it, and then it will start the generation. So I'm gonna skip. So this is still my track, just to make that perfectly clear, but I did just want to give you a bit of an idea of what it sounds like. Okay, 
so this track is just about to finish and then it's going to start the generation. <laughs> Okay, so there's a silence, which there normally is. Neon light, you've been dancing all night, baby. Under the strobe light. Moving to the river in the haze, baby. Feeling so Oh my god. Oh, That's incredible. That's absolutely incredible. I had no idea that that was just gonna... Oh my god. So if we go into it, you can see the new lyrics that it's produced. It, produced rather. Um, oh my god. I, I'm just lost for words, guys. Seriously, this is just... This is like magic this is just uh, oh my god let's check the other one shall we right. It is absolutely incredible. It's just unbelievable, that is. Absolutely unbelievable. And that is what I found with UGO with my generations, is that they have been outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. I mean, I, I didn't want to sleep last night. <laughs> I was just amazed. Now, what you realise is that, obviously, it has to hallucinate in order to generate your future music. So sometimes the results are amazing, and other times they are a bit challenging and a bit strange. And I have one example of that. So I did a track called Physical Attraction a very long time ago. And I just want to play just a few lyrics just to give you an idea. And then I'll show you what it's done. Being with I know who they are. It's just a physical attraction. Yeah, it's just a chemical reaction. Yeah. Okay, so I put that in. And this is what it <laughs> came up with. So I've just put in my vocals, just my a cappella of a track. Yeah, here's yours and I like the melodies. Beat, let's play, let's play, yeah. Hey, hey now, sit the sit up, move on. Not all day. Uh -oh. And neon, that's what we'll make you yeah. glow. It's just a kind uh -oh. of only action. dreamers, let it yeah. flow. If somebody yeah, wants it, can I join yeah, this wave? Yeah, I need I'm to lose myself action. inside yeah. the waves. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's crazy. In the harem. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, it's just incredible. So yeah, you can put in your own vocals as well. Okay, so now I've got a demo track that I did. Oh, it's got to be about 15 years ago. Um, and yeah, I couldn't think of the vocals, the, the melody of the vocals, the lyrics. I just couldn't really come up with it. Um, there's a little... It's not perfectly in time, I must say, um, but it kind of fits together as quite well as a demo. So I'm going to play this track to you so you can have a listen.
Okay, so yeah, it's about a 50 second demo and the drum beat finishes very soon and then you'll hear what Udio has created for me. I just can't believe this. It's <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. And it's done such a good job with the vocals. This is like collabs with AI now, isn't it? It's like, I don't know how to define these tracks, what to call them, because it's like, it's amazing. I am perplexed, literally, to say the least. It is amazing. So yeah, so he called it Neon Dream Chaser for that song. Okay, so what I've got now is a demo track that I produced on the Amiga. I think it was the Amiga 500 or something. And it was when I really got into music. I think I was about 15 years old. That's when I started really producing music was when I got my Amiga because I got a tracker. It was like a digital audio workstation called Octomed. And I did a whole album based on that. And... Yeah, so I've put in one of the old Amiga demos just to see, you know, what it's going to do with this. So let's take a quick listen. You can see it's quite basic. <laughs> right, I've got stereo speakers. You, you literally had two tracks for the left, two tracks for the right, so drum beats over there, the, the, the sound suddenly over there. That was a limitation of, of the time, you know. Okay, so now you've got the full drum beat on the right the speaker, and on the left you've got the additional notes. Okay, so you get the idea of this. So I'm going to play what it's generated. Okay, so it's coming to the end of the track now. it's done it's actually moved the the bass drum to this side whereas before it was entirely over there so it's evened out the track by itself 
And it sounds so much better. Echoes of whispers call out my name in the city, void of sleep. Dancing with ghosts under synthetic stars. I think what it's what it does when it generates. I think it takes all of the the track. It extend. It sorry. It extracts out all of the parts, the layers, the vocals, the drums, separate, the melodies, the bass. I reckon it then analyzes it and reinterprets it. It's just so so clever. What this has come up with. Where secrets hide. Fading memories follow us inside. Now he's just brought that back in again. Eyes in the night reflect our silent fears inside. 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 Oh my god, I just, oh, it's so good, it's so good, I just can't get over it, I cannot get over it, it's produced some amazing, amazing results, mind-blowing for me, the, the, the amount of time that would have taken me, that could have taken me like all day to do that, well half a day to do that I reckon, so there you have it, that is Udio, I'm just as you can probably tell, blown away, absolutely blown away by what it can do. So let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know how you are going to use it. I'd love, I'd love to hear some of your examples, put in some links, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye.